This week in West Virginia, Governor Jim Justice spoke at the 83rd Annual Chamber of Commerce Business Summit, where he announced a new task force that will work to bring downstream manufacturing opportunities to our region, ahead of an anticipated expansion of the petrochemical industry. So we need someone to head up this effort that really, really, in addition to all of our commerce people and all the great work that they're doing, we have got to have someone head this up. The Downstream Jobs Task Force, chaired by DEP Secretary Austin Caperton, made their first presentation at the summit following the governor's announcement. This is what a revolution looks like, this graph right here. It's going to be available online as well the whole presentation, so you don't have to take notes, you can actually pay attention. Print it, put it in your files, you're going to want to show it to your grandchildren someday and say this is the future of West Virginia and it began a transformation. More than 500 National Guard soldiers said their goodbyes to family and friends as they left West Virginia ahead of their deployment to the Middle East. And the state's Human Rights Commission hosted the governor's 16th annual Civil Rights Day ceremony and luncheon. As the chair of the West Virginia Human Rights Commission, I'm very happy to welcome each of you to the governor's 16th annual Civil Rights Day Award <coughs> You can find more on these stories and many others in our West Virginia Week in Review newsletter.